Hey YouTube, um, I got a brand new game, it is called X-Plane 10. Now the reason why I bought this, and I had Flight Simulator X, but they shut down the online servers for it, so it kind of took the fun away. Um, so I bought this one, and I'm just trying to figure out how to play online if there is online servers probably is um but I'm gonna tell you my thoughts of this game so far and so far they're they're pretty good I I do really really like this game once you get to know how everything works it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just using an Xbox 360 controller for it. That's the controller that's going left. I don't know why it does that. It's not the plane, it's a controller. Oh shit. Sorry, that was a really bad takeoff, but one of my joysticks are kind of screwed up. There we So this is the the settings I got on my computer right now um, so that I can run it smoothly. I can go like higher than this and it can still run smooth but it takes forever to load so um, it's kind of annoying in a way. You can also uh, download planes as well. Um, some of the planes I downloaded were like the Piper and stuff like that. There's a site that they give you where there's a bunch of planes. There's uh, payware and then there's freeware also. So you can choose whether you know you want to pay for it or you want them free. And there is some really good free ones. And all the ones I got were free. Um, I'll actually see if I can show you one open aircraft uh see here just gonna scroll see here's one of the ones and this one was free and open aircraft I apologize for the loading times uh they cut i cut it down quite a bit before it took roughly like 20 minutes just to load a map it was ridiculous but that's because i had everything on max so i'm probably gonna pick up another graphics card for my computer and stuff like that but once you turn up everything to max the graphics are very beautiful. I also got the um, uh, graphic enhance pack, which basically m makes everything look more richer and stuff. Fortunately, this computer can't really benefit to it. Um, so, what am I doing here? Ah, I need to go to Chase. So this is one of the free planes, and as you can see, it, it's quite nice. I mean, it's not some crap that somebody just put together. It's it's quite decent. Uh, go back to three. Okay. There we 
There we go. If only I could... Whoa. Sometimes by putting the fuel to the center, that helps. But I think it's just I need to get a new controller. Because this one's quite... Uh, it turns to the... And I know it's something to do with the wheel. It, it's not the... Well, something. I don't know. But anyways. So, other thoughts on this game. There, There's not as much planes as in Flight Simulator, but you can always add more planes. Uh, the website that I went on, there's like probably a thousand different planes on there. The payware probably has a lot more, I'm not sure. Scenery is... Right now I got everything on high. You can actually see like deer and stuff running across the runway, which is pretty neat. And then you can see birds and stuff. I don't know if I can see any deer right now. I was flying this one plane before and you could actually see a deer, a bunch of deer running across the runway so I had to wait for them. I mean if geese can bring down a plane I'd hate to see what a deer could do. Trees I just have kind of as felled, I think. You can see the houses and stuff. See if I can fly over to the mountains. Probably take a long time with this plane, it doesn't go very fast. Yeah, I'm not the smoothest flyer, but uh, whatever. Okay. And there's different views you can look through. Uh, this is my favorite because you it's like a you can look, you know. Um then there's this view which is called the circle view. Uh view ride along. She sounds like it should be called view getting dragged behind the plane. <laughs> uh, view is lunar spot. There's this view. There's a lot of different views. There's free camera. There's on weapon. Of course, this, this plane does not have a weapons. Throttle down back on it. Oh well. Also, another thing that I noticed that this plane has that Flight Simulator doesn't have is the wing flex. And basically what happens is your wings, um, if you pull up, they'll kind of like, they'll kind of flex down. And if you pull down, they'll, they'll flex up. So it's, it's kind of neat. And it adds a little bit of realism to it. Now, for control-wise and how it feels, it honestly, I, it feels pretty much like Flight Simulator, except there are quite a few more options. Um, this is more based on a simulator, like, I mean, I read somewhere that actually NASA uses this game, apparently or did. I don't know if NASA really... Well, I know the space shuttle thing is not really there anymore, but I guess they use this game as a simulator. I just bought it because I couldn't play Flight Simulator X, so I decided to get this one and I'm quite happy with it. The controls, to get the controls configured and stuff, like if you don't want to use a keyboard but you have like an Xbox wired controller it it's 
once you know what everything does, it's pretty basic. You know, you push the button on the controller and then you select what option you want it to do. So, for example, like the D pad up will put the um, uh, flaps up or down. Um, right analog stick will look left turns. Left bumper is the uh, rudder, right bumper is also the rudder, and then B is just center, to center the rudder, or sorry, no, X is, and then uh, B is to throttle up, and then A is just landing gear kind of stuff. You can't fit every option on the controller, but I just got the ones that makes it so that I can at least fly, which is cool. thing I like about this plane, though, is I can actually just land in a field, because, I mean, it's kind of what the plane is. It's just kind of like a field plane to me. Kind of like something you'd see on a farm or whatever. Of course, this would probably be extremely illegal. <laughs> of course, this plane also, it doesn't have the flaps, so I can't really, uh, I can't go flaps up or flaps down. And there we go. And then you can like shut the engine off, of course. Uh, ignition. It's kind of hard to read the uh, different things. That's not it. I have no idea what that did. Jeez. There. I'm sure that wasn't the that was probably like shutting off the fuel pump or something, I don't know. So yeah, I still got some learning to do. But yeah, the game is definitely... I would recommend it. Um, considering that the Microsoft isn't really making Flight Simulator anymore, I don't think. So... This is, well, they made a new one, but it's definitely not like what what they used to make. Uh, I think Flight Simulator X was the best one going. So yeah, um, that's my thoughts on Flight Simulator X. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe. See ya.